it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey there, it's Stephen here with StudyClicks, and in this video, we're going to look at central symmetry. Now, central symmetry happens when an object is reflected through a point. And we're going to say that the image of this object appears flipped upside down when we do this. So let's see it in action. I'm asked to transform the object below using central symmetry through the point P. So basically, I want to take this triangle and transform it through the point P here using what we call central symmetry. So let me show you how it's done. What we're going to do is grab our ruler and all we're going to do is we're going to take each point and reflect it through the point P. So I'm going to start here with the point C and I'm going to match up my ruler with point C and the point P. What I'll do is I'm going to measure from the point C that it is one, two, three centimeters to point P. And now I'm going to keep my ruler in that exact position and come out three centimeters to the other side. So one, two, three. So that point, the three centimeters, the other side of P is the transformed point under central symmetry. And I'm going to call it C prime. So we've taken C, we put it through P, and we came out the same distance the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the point B. I'm going to match up the point B and the point P here using my ruler. Then what I'll do is I'll measure the distance from B to P. So I'm going to count here. It's one, two, three, four, five and a half centimeters. So I'm going to come out five and a half the other side. So I have a half, one, two, three, four, five. So that distance, the other side, that equal distance of five and a half centimeters, the other side of P is where the translated point B is going to be. So I'm going to call that B prime. And we'll repeat the process for the point A. So I'm going to take my ruler and match it up to the point A and P. And I'm going to count how many centimeters it is from A to P. So I'm going one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight centimeters from A to P. So I need to come out eight centimeters the other side in the exact same direction. When we do that, we'll mark our point and we're going to call this A prime. So here I've got my three points reflected through the point P under central symmetry. All I've left to do is join my three dots together to remake the triangle. And there you have it. That is our objects moved using central symmetry through the point P. And you can see our second bullet point says the image appears flipped upside down. You can absolutely see that there, that our original triangle has now been flipped upside down in the image. A big thing for the exam is that if you are asked to construct this, you must show the construction lines. So the yellow, purple and pink lines I have on screen, you need those to get your full marks. Now let's practice central symmetry on another question. I'm asked here to transform the object X, Y, Z, W using central symmetry through the origin. Now the origin is the crosshairs of our two axes. We'll mark it here with a pink dot. So what we wish to do here is take this T-shaped letter with our points X, Y, Z, W on it and reflect each point through the origin and come out the other side the same distance. So let's get our ruler and get started. What we'll do is we'll start with the point W. I'm going to line my ruler up with the point W in the origin. I'm going to measure the distance from W to the origin, and I'm going to come out that exact same distance the other side. We'll plot our point and we'll call this W prime. And for a coordinate grid like this, it's actually easy to check that our answers on measurements are right. You can see W to the origin goes across four boxes and then down one. So we need to make sure we went across four boxes and down another one from the origin to the other point. And it all matches up. Let's go ahead and take the point X and do the same. We'll line our ruler up with X in the origin. And again, we're going to take the distance from X to the origin. And we're going to come out that exact same distance the other side. Alternatively, you could count the boxes, but you'll see here we get our point X here and we'll call it X prime. We're going to do the same for Y. We're going to line Y up with the origin. And I'm going to translate the point Y down to the origin. I'm measuring the distance I've just drawn from Y to the origin, and I'm coming out that exact same distance the other side. We'll plot our point and we'll call that Y prime. And then finally, we're going to do the same for Z. We're going to take our ruler. We're going to line Z and the origin up. And while they're lined, we're going to measure the distance from Z to the origin. And we're going to come out that exact same distance the other side.
we'll plot our point and we'll call this translated point Z prime. Now we're good to go. We're going to join up our dots to make that T shape. So I hope you can see the original T shape of the object has been flipped upside down here. So we're going to be drawing an upside down T shape when we join our dots. And there we have our image of the object through central symmetry in the origin. And just to follow the definition of central symmetry once more, we reflected the object through the point, And you can see here the image of the object appears to be flipped upside down. Now it's your turn to try this out. Pause the video here, copy down this question and check in with the solution when it appears on screen. In part A, we're reflecting our object through the origin using central symmetry. Don't forget to include your construction lines. In B, we're transforming the object under central symmetry through the point minus one, four. So we have to plot that point first, then we reflect our object on through. Thanks for watching.